Hi, uh, my name is Bradley Boswell. Uh, I teach Spanish and French here at uh, College of the Albemarle, and I'm one half of the uh, leaders for study abroad. Hey, my name is Leslie Lippincott, and I am the culinary arts instructor here on the Edenton campus. I'm the other half of study abroad, and we wanted to take some time today to um, go through some information about our study abroad trip for 2025, which will be in Canada, Quebec, Montreal, and Ottawa. Uh, the dates for this trip will be from April 19th to April 25th, 2025. That will be over spring break for um, COA college students. And study abroad for 2025, our students will gain global experience by participating in any of the college's study abroad trips. We have dual enrolled students who are eligible if they will be 16 years old by the time of the trip. While students have the first right to participate, any available spots are open to faculty members, staff, and community members. COA study abroad trip to Canada is a lovely trip put together by Explorica, which includes cultural exploration, historical attractions, Canadian cuisine, wonders of nature, and pirates and ghosts. Bradley, so, do you want to go through the itinerary? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. So for the first day, uh, bonjour Quebec, uh, you're going to meet your tour director and check into your hotel, and we will have a wonderful walk around Quebec City. Uh, Quebec City is one of the most European cities in North America with cobblestone streets and stone forts. Um, after breakfast on day two, we will go to Ferre Chateau saint louis a National Historic Site um, and the Spirit of Lower Town. We will also have a guided tour of La Citadelle. Uh, it's a bit of a, a fort in downtown Quebec. Uh, played an integral role in the uh, French Indian War uh, a, a few years before the uh, War of Independence. And of course, we'll have dinner and traditional entertainment at a sugar shack. Uh, after that, uh, we will have our transition day from Quebec to Montréal. Uh, we'll have breakfast and then we'll go a little north of Quebec City at first uh, to go to saint anne de beaupre uh, which is kind of a pilgrimage site for Catholics in, uh, in Quebec. Uh, we'll also visit the Copper Museum, and then we'll make our way south down to Montréal uh, to see the Montréal Science Center. Uh, and uh, we will also have a look at Old Montreal, McGill University, Place Ville-Marie, Bell Center, and Mont-Royal and then we'll have dinner. Following that on day four, we'll go into Montréal and we'll see the Cosmodrome Gemini program. We'll visit the uh, Basilica Notre Dame. Uh, I've been there. It is very similar to a lot of cathedrals you might find in Europe, and it's just here on our doorstep right here in North America. Uh, you'll also go to the Museum of Archaeology at Pointe de uh, with a guided visit. And of course, we will end the day with a uh, an 18th century pirate themed dinner. Continuing in Montréal, uh, we have our last day in uh, Francophone country before we head to the Canadian capital of Ottawa. Uh, we'll have breakfast, and we will go to Mont Royal. It's a large hill in the middle of Montreal uh, at 234 meters. Um, Mont Royal is the highest point in Montreal, and it's affectionately called the Mountain by locals. It was named after this. Uh, Mont Royal was named after this 761 foot hill, which also houses the famous Mount Royal Park one of Montreal's largest green spaces. From the top of Mount Royal, uh, you will see impressive views of downtown Montreal or Montreal and the surrounding area. On day five, we travel from Montreal to Ottawa. 
Uh, we visit Ottawa Animations, which is the site yearly of um, an animated film festival. So we, we will not see the film festival, but we will be there and explore some of the um, some of the animated films that are available. We'll have dinner. After dinner, we're gonna have a spooky time because we're gonna go on a Ghosts and Gallows, a haunted walk in jail tour. Day six take in Ottawa, we have breakfast. Then we tour the Parliament building, which I understand looks very much like Parliament in London. We go mm -hmm. on an orienteering rally on Parliament Hill, all about mapping. We go to the Canadian War Museum and the Canadian Museum of History. And that evening we have a evening dinner dance. And in that picture, you might notice the canals in Ottawa. They are there actually to move soldiers quickly to the US border should we ever decide to invade Canada. Uh, they were actually built in the 1800s shortly after the Civil War uh, because the Canadians were afraid that we would use our Union Army to invade. On day seven, we say goodbye to Ottawa, but first we have breakfast, then we go to the National Gallery for a guided visit. We end up with the Royal Mounted Police stables and see the horses. These horses are trained specifically, not only as police horses, but also um, they do many steps and actually dance. So it will be interesting to see them. And then we get on a plane and come back home. A little bit about what the tour fees cover. Uh, first of all, round trip transportation is covered by the tour fees, and we will uh, we offer our also our participants to pick them up and to take them to the airport and to deliver them either home or to a central location for easy um, to make it a little easier to get to and from the airport. Um, I'll come around in a COA van and pick everybody up. Uh, we also have breakfast every day, except the day we arrive. We have dinner every day, except the day we depart. This is all included in the tour fees. We have the full-time services of a professional tour director. We had a professional tour director from Explorica um, for our 2023 trip to Belize. And the tour, the quality and knowledge of the tour directors were um, just excellent. We also have guided sightseeing tours and city walks that are listed on the itinerary. We have overnight security chaperones. We have the visits to all of the attractions that are on the itinerary. We have six nights, um, overnight stays in hotels with private bathrooms. And, and in Belize, the hotels we stayed out were very nice with private bathrooms. We also have tour um, diary, which is offered as a service through Explorica, who is our travel partner. Um, when we were in Belize, um, one person was designated as the photographer for that day. We signed all of those pictures to our tour director, who then had them uploaded onto the Explorica website so that friends and family of our participants could see what they did every day. Um, let's talk for a minute just about what the tour does not include. Um, if we could go back, that does not include any visas. It does not include the cost of passports, nor does it include the cost of baggage fees that the airline imposes. Uh, daily excursions are not included, but we have included the prepaid director tips and the multi-day bus driver tipping that is included. Um, so we have built that into the, into the fees and we can go through them in just a moment. So the tour fees as of right now, then it is September 10th, are at $2,758. Now remember that includes everything we just talked about, including all hotels, travel, and also uh, meals, breakfast and lunch, or breakfast and dinner. That um, breakdown is as follows. The tour fee of $2,452. We included all of the tour tipping at $27. It also includes Travel Protection Plus. This cannot be financed, and I'll talk about it on the next slide, 
bringing the total fee for the tour to $2,758. We That would breaks down into six monthly payments of um, eight, uh, $404.83 after the initial payment of $329. The last day that this tour fee is available will be September 19th of 2024. On September 20th, the cost of the tour will go up. We never know how much it's gonna go up. It usually goes up somewhere between 30 and $50. So the cheapest or the least expensive time to sign up for this tour will be between now and, sep and um, September 19th. Here is the required travel protection plan plus. Um, it will be $279. It's no longer automatically added to the total tour fee on your tour center website. It is the only option available to COA travelers so you must select it. I've included a screenshot below of what you will see when you go onto the Explorica website on the next slide. It's a little hard to read, but um, it shows you what you need and you will need the Travel Protection Plan Plus. For Canada, it will not be $397, it'll be $279. All right, next slide. The cost must be paid in full at the time of enrollment, so it does not affect your monthly payment plan amounts. There is now a 2% processing fee for credit card payments. So if you pay by credit card, then the overall amount paid will be higher than that. You can pay by checking account to, to avoid the processing fee. Adult fees. If you are traveling with us and you are 23 years of age or older, there are additional fees. There is an adult supplement of $45, and there is a twin room upgrade of $270. The total additional adult fees for this trip are $315. The twin room upgrade uh, ensures that you can only have another person in your room. Um, uh, the students that are the participants that are um, 22 and younger are usually put in rooms with three to four people in a room. At 23 years old, if you would prefer, um, the twin room upgrade is mandatory, but there is also another upgrade that would give you a single room, which we can discuss the fees for that if anybody is interested. We do have um, currently um, student support funds available. Um, we look at, we have some $500 uh, support funds available for students. These are, um, in order to qualify for these, you are required to participate in the North Carolina Scholar of Global Distinction Program that's administered through UNC Chapel Hill and World Strides. And um, Bradley will talk about that in just a moment. And I am the contact person for becoming a student of global distinction. So if you would, uh, if you want to participate in that program, please send me an email. Uh, this is a program where students take classes that are global in nature. Uh, we have all the requirements right here. Uh, complete 15 credit hours of globally intensive courses do eight international activities and dialogues, um, gain global experience. So that would be your study abroad experience in Canada if you go on this trip. And then you give a capstone pr presentation and write a reflection paper on your experiences in the program. If you are interested in signing up for the Canada trip, please email me to request a study abroad program application. If you are interested in the study uh, or the support funds, please email me that and I will send that application. Um, the Upon receiving your application, the study abroad committee will meet to review it. And then upon program, and program approval, I will provide you with the um, Explorica instructions to sign up for the tour on their website. Explorica handles all of the financing of the tour and they take care of making sure um, of all passport information, everything like that. 
we have copies every, of everything, but Explorica administers that. If you have any questions, you can contact me at 252-482-7900. My extension on the Edenton campus is um, 6017. And you can reach me at Leslie underscore Lippincott at Albemarle EDU, or you can contact Bradley. At 252-335-0821, extension 222, oh, sorry, extension 2205. Uh, my email is Bradley underscore Boswell22 at albemarle.edu. And with that, thank you. I, I hope you uh, take under consideration our trip to Canada. We invite you to explore the world and discover yourself. Thank you.